Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here, and welcome back to Ark. Check this out. Last night, this little guy snuck into my base, so I snuck up behind him, tamed him up, and named him Spank. So this is Spank, my monkey. Now, the Megatheriums uh, actually had a second baby last night, so we have four of them now. The female I named Juliet after Juliet Lewis, the actress who played Mallory in the movie Natural Born Killers. And the male, I, of course, I named Woody after Woody Harrelson, the actor who played Mickey in the movie. So there we go, four Megatheriums, that's looking sweet. We also had another Rex last night, Rose. She is the spawn of Little Glock 9 and Sheebs. My wife's middle name is Rose, and she wanted to be a part of this series. So there you go, honey. You're a fucking T-Rex now. You can literally bite my head off. Now, let's go. The first thing we are doing this morning is taking Tony Stark up to the volcano. We're going to build him a little house up there, and that's where he's going to stay. I've been putting off doing this just because I wanted to keep all my dinos in the same spot, but this is going to be much more easy and convenient moving forward, at least until we build an industrial forge or whatever. So for now, Tony's going to stay up near the forges at the volcano, so anytime we want to get metal, he's already up there. All right, with that out of the way, this should be the perfect spot to build Tony a little house. Let's start with the foundation. Okay, let's put the walls in now. And then we've got a dino gateway for the door. I'm just going to go one high with the walls for now and obviously not put a ceiling in or anything like that. I don't think that's necessary at this point. Let's put in this uh, gateway here. Mm, that... That should be good. Right there. Let's get the door in. Bam. Done. All right, that is all the metal bars that were in the forges. And now while we're up here, let's go ahead and take Tony to mine some more metal so we can get these forges running again. See if we can drop Tony right into his new home. There we go. Let's get this metal into the forges now. We got some wood in Philly's inventory. Let's grab that. Get these forges lit. And then we're going to go do some dangerous shit. All right, Tony, listen, I'm going to get out of here, but this is your new home for now. All right, so just think of it like a bachelor pad. I mean, you got your own place. You're going to love it up here. He's going to fucking hate it up here. All right, so now we are going to go try and trap and tame a Utyrannus. They're basically like T-Rexes with feathers. Uh, it's going to be pretty dangerous. I know I say that every time, that this is going to be the most dangerous thing we've done so far. But uh, these, these guys are pretty fucking dangerous from what I've seen. They roll around with a pack of Carnos, so that's something we're going to have to deal with. And they have a roar that scares the shit out of most dinos in the game, including Philly. So the closer we get to it with Philly, if it, if it roars, Philly will we'll lose total control of Philly for, I think, about 15 seconds. So it's going to be dangerous, it's going to be tough, but we definitely need one of these fuckers for the Broodmother fight. Because not only does it have a roar that scares other dinos, but it also has a roar that gives a buff to all of your dinos. So this is the dinosaur I'm going to be riding during the fight. So fingers crossed, hopefully we can find one that's a good level, and we can successfully trap it tame it. I do have one cryopod on me, so we'll take it home, and at that point, I still have to make a saddle for it. I haven't made uh, a saddle yet. And if all goes well, maybe I'll try and uh, get a second one in, uh, in a future episode. Because we already have a really good amount of T-Rexes. We've got four Megatheriums. If we can get two of these U-Tyrannus uh, dinosaurs, then maybe uh, a couple of pigs, people are suggesting, because they give health buffs. I think we'll pretty much be ready for the fight. Oh, that sounds like one up there. Yeah, let's go check it out. We got a mammoth in the fight. Yeah, there's some Carnos around. That's definitely one. Let's have a look. See what we got here. Level 112. That works for me. Alright, let's... Uh, 
set the trap up down here. All right, this is gonna be crazy, but like I always say, no guts, no glory hole. Now, one thing we have to keep in mind is if the Carnos get stuck in the trap with the u -Tyrannus. We cannot knock out the u -Tyrannus until we kill the Carnos first. Because even though the Carnos fight on the side of the u -Tyrannus, if we knock that thing out, the Carnos don't give a shit, man. They will just eat that thing. Uh, let's get this tree out of the way, too. Oh. Hey, man, you fucked my whole shit up. What are you doing pushing me? Uh, will you get out of the way, damn it? There we go. Alright. It's still up there on the mountain. Let's go stir up some shit. See what we can do. Now, I thought about trying to kill the Carnos first, but... Whatever. If we get them all stuck in the trap, then we'll just use the shotgun on the Carnos. And once they're dead, then we'll start hitting the uh, U-Tyrannus with some Trank Arrows. Let's go, bitch! Down this way. Oh, yeah, it's definitely chasing us. What happened? Why'd you stop? Oh, it's roaring. But we are out of range. Oh, shit, I guess we're not. Was that the Carno that just scared me? I don't know, but I guess it's 20 seconds that you are out of control for. I thought it was 15. But uh, luckily, Philly is just flying around up here. As long as she continues to just fly up here, we're fine. Just don't want her landing. Because if she lands and we're out of control, then we're screwed. All right. We got control back. Let's, uh, probably best to get some stamina, just in case that happens again. Because if she is out of control and then lands and we can't take back off, we're dead. Well, let's just go after the Carnos while they're separated. If we can get these guys killed, it'll make this much easier. Oh, as long as they don't kill us. Shit, we're bleeding out. Oh, we got one of them killed. Get in the trap. Yes! <laughs> one of them is in the trap. Let's kill this one now. Come on, you fucker. There we go. All right, and we'll deal with the third one using the shoddy. Mm, bitch. And that's how it's done. Now for the main course. All right, leave that wolf alone and come this way. There's some sheep running around. What's it chasing now? A oh, pig. All right, well, I'll let it kill the pig. Oh, damn it. We're scared again. We're out of control. Please don't land. Oh, shit, wolves. Philly, can you go a little bit higher than this, please? All right, there we go. Ten more seconds. We're good. We're good. Okay. Back in control. Let's try this again. Where the hell did it go? Is that it over there? I mean, it's definitely one. I just don't know if it's ours. Level eight. Nope. That's not ours. Here we go. This has got to be our baby right here. Come on, motherfucker. Come this way. I don't feel like dealing with two of these things. He just doesn't want to come over here. Look, he's going for the Carno in the trap. Let's hit it with an arrow, see if we can draw it over this way. And then we'll fly back towards the trap and try and get him in there. And now he's pissed. What is he doing? He's, he's trying to eat the Carno that's in the trap. Unbelievable. Well, I'm just going to sit here and keep shooting arrows at it. Fuck it. Imagine we knock it out while it's outside of the trap, trying to eat the dinosaur that's dead inside the trap. I'm telling you, constant fuckery on this channel. It's like every time we set out to do something, we fuck it all up, but still somehow manage to complete the task at hand. I think this would be iconic, right? If we pull this off. Oh shit. Oh shit. Not good. Everything went to hell real fast. Fuck out of here, Sabertooth. Alright, what is this guy doing? Just fucking standing there now. Oh boy. Oh yeah, get in there. 
Go ahead, keep going. This is so ridiculous. I feel like at this point, though, we should maybe fly over its head. Look, it's about to be in the trap. I would feel much, comfort much more comfortable if it was in the trap, because... At any point, it could just run away. Let's do this shit. We're just gonna fly right over its head and see if we can just get it to move forward into the trap. There we go. Is it in? I think it's in. Oh, yeah, it's in. I feel like a teenager again. Oh, there we go. Is that it? That is it. Holy shit. Unbelievable, man. And we got this carno right here so we can get some prime meat. Beautiful. Let's get that into his inventory here. It's only a couple of pieces. That works for now. We can go get some more real quick if we want. There's some mammoths around. That's a quick, easy way to do it. Let's see, can we get some arrows back here? Some of those arrows back. Eh, whatever. All right, let's go grab some more prime meat. Oh, we pissed off his friends and took a little bit of a beating, but we got it. Let's go feed it to the Yudi. Well, we only got two more pieces there, so four in total. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Fuck off, Wolf. Here comes his buddy. He can fuck off, too. Dad. Oh, shit. All right, two more mammoths down. We got another wolf right here. Take care of this thing. Got a level for Philly. Let's put that uh, into health. And let's get this prime meat into the UD. Oh, look at that. That's plenty. There we go. Now we just sit around and guard the body. Here we go. Name your you Tyrannus. All right, we're going to name this boy Diamond Hands. As a shout out to all my fellow stonk lovers. Hodl until the moon, baby. All right, let's get this dude in a cryopod. Oh, shit. Was that a dino? Uh, no, that was his tail. Thought that was another carno for a second. Get in this cryopod, Diamond Hands. There we go. Man, level 167. That's beautiful, isn't it? I think we should totally try and grab another one of these. Not necessarily to mate them, but just to have two of them along for the fight. Because like I said earlier, we got what? About eight Rexes. We got four Megatheriums. Now we got a Utyrannus. I think it would be good to bring some pigs to the fight for the health buff. And I think I want to bring Thick to the fight also, just because Thick is my OG. Home sweet home. You know what we got to do first? Let's pet our hot dogs. Hey, hot dogs. How's it going? Look how much they love that. All right, now I gotta get this fur armor put away. I took most of it off on the ride back home just because I was sweating. Uh, that's the wrong cabinet. Let's grab our flak armor. We'll put that on. All right, now what do we need to craft a saddle? We need 125 silica pearls. Do we even have that many? I hope so. Yeah, we got plenty. All right, sweet. Let's get this shit into the smithy. Get a saddle crafted. Boom. Yeah, nothing like being in a cryopod to make you have to take a huge dump. Let's get this saddle on diamond hands here, and let's go for a ride. Oh, we got a level already. What should we do? Should we just pump it into... Uh... Let's go melee damage. The health is already looking good, but that's all I'm going to work on is health and melee damage. And let's kill this bear. Matter of fact, let's kill everything in sight. Fuck it. Die, bear. It's too easy. Too damn easy. Let's go health this time. Like I said, health and melee damage. That's all I'm concerned with. Well, shouldn't have been so close to my damn gate. Oh, look at this. We got a couple of hot dogs out here. Let's tame them up. We gotta get some berries. I mean, what the hell, right? Get a couple more hot dogs in here. XP everywhere. Oh, those are the wings twitching. 
You know, because I got the two over by the Megatheriums. We can put these two by the Rexes. And uh, it's just more XP for everyone. Put this cryopod away. Let's go get some berries. And we'll go get a couple more hot dogs. There we go. Let's name this one Wiener. Is it I-E or E-I? Oh, whatever, I don't give a shit. You're Oscar Meyer, motherfucker. Ooh, Oscar would have been a good name. This one we're just gonna name Pinky. For obvious reasons. Pinky. There we go. Now follow me. Let's get these two inside the base. Alright, that's far enough. Let's pet them. Look how happy they are to be home. Four hot dogs. That's pretty good. I'll get more if we can find them. I'm not gonna go out hunting for hot dogs, but hey, if they're walking around the base, I'll tame them up. Can't pass up on a tech dino. I was wondering if it would be worth it to tame a couple of tech dinos and mate them. Can you mate tech dinos? I'm assuming you can. And then just kill the babies for parts? I don't know if that would be worth it or not. Anyway, hold up. This roar right here is using the C button. I believe that's the roar that gives my dinos a buff. Yeah, and this roar using the right mouse button is the one that scares off dinos. Like this raptor running away all scared and shit. You can't run, bitch. I'm faster than you. Boom, just racking up the levels. We're at 170 already. Now let's put this point into health again. Damn. You would think I have, like, uh, an XP buff going on. Go melee damage. Even though I probably, thinking about this again, probably should just keep going into health if this is the dinosaur that I'm going to be riding during the fight. Because I certainly don't want the dinosaur that I'm riding to fucking get killed. But I also want it to be pretty powerful as well. So, uh, I think a mixture of health and, uh, melee damage is good. Look at this guy running back at me. He's got heart. I'll give him that. Man, we are just unstoppable. Already, this Yudi is my highest level dino. We're going health and melee damage. Oh, look at this green terror bird. It's it's going after the car now. Now, wait a second. I think... Uh, that didn't work. It's attacking me. I thought there was a roar that would make certain carnivores, like the Carno, fight on my side. Maybe it's the buff roar. I don't know. Not really concerned about it. I don't need anybody to fight on my side. I'm eating everyone out here. This is just insane. It really is. What a good decision going after one of these guys today, huh? And nabbing Diamond Hands at level 112 and already getting him up to 176. Going health again and we already got health over 8,000. We are looking good. Man, what a day, I'm telling you. Let's get Diamond Hands parked. And that's pretty much gonna be it for this episode. I was debating on uh, whether or not I should breed the Rexes one more time. I may do that. I don't know. Let's get Diamond Hands parked here. What I need to do tonight is go through my inventory and see if I have the resources that I'm gonna need to craft 18 more cryopods. Well, maybe not 18. What are we going to need? Yeah, 18. Because we're going to fly Philly to the obelisk. And we're going to need to carry 20 dinos with us. Because we can't bring Philly into the fight. We already have two cryopods. So we got to craft 18 more of those. So I need to make sure I have the materials to do that. If not, that's something we're going to have to go gather. And then uh, I also want to tame some pigs. Three or four, maybe. And I think that'll pretty much be it. Maybe we'll go after another UD. I don't know. But uh, I need to empty Philly's inventory. I need to empty uh, Diamond Hands' inventory as well. And then I'll go through all of my shit. And I'll debate on whether or not I want to um, mate the Rexes one more time. But guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more ARC, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.